Hey gang, it's Dan with StringRx coming back at you with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about silicone and how to use it to add some weight to your racket. So silicone, doesn't really matter what brand you use as long as it's 100% silicone. Typically it's injected into the bottom of a racket, into the handle to add some weight. To that racket it'll also help make the racket play a little more muted and be a little bit easier on the arm so if you have a stiffer racket hollow channel inside your butt cap you can definitely add a little bit of silicone please understand if you do this it's very very difficult to undo it it's very hard to get all the silicone out of your handle so today i'm just going to add a little bit to my own personal racket I do want a little bit more weight to my racket. They weigh about 350 grams, which is about 12.3 to 12.35 ounces. Currently, they're about 10 points head light. So I'm gonna make them a little bit more head light. I'm gonna counteract what I add in the handle by putting a little bit more in the top of my frame to raise the swing weight up and just try and make the racket play a little bit more stable as well as have a little bit more plow through so I can take it a little bit easy on my arm as I continue to try and find some poly strings that I can use for how hard I hit the ball. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, hopefully y'all can see me. All right, so what we're gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh my rackets just to kind of show you um, what we got going on here. So pardon the uh, camera action again, as I am a one man show. Try and get it up a little bit so you can see me a little bit more. There we go. So we're gonna stick the racket up on here. And this racket is strung with a full bag of Solico Revolution. And as you can see, it's got 350 to 351 grams. It changes back and forth just a little bit. Uh, so right on that border. The second racket is Solinco Revolution um, crossed with Solinco X Natural. And as you can see, this one is right at 351 grams. So, because these are strung and they're not unstrung, I'm going to try and add about the same amount of weight into each racket handle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab a screwdriver and just simply going to go into the trap door of my butt cap and there's a little spot for a screwdriver and I'm just gonna try and pop that door open. Like so. And you can see the inside of the handle. Don't know if you can see that. See if I can get you an angle where you can see. Is hollow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some cotton and I'm gonna stuff some cotton inside the handle. And the reason I'm gonna do that is I don't want the silicone to go all the way up inside. So I only wanna add a little bit of silicone. So I'm gonna put a cotton ball on each side of the handle to just kind of put a barrier so that silicone can't go all the way in. And that first piece of cotton I stuffed in and it went all the way up so I don't want it to go all the way up so I'm going to stick another piece in there just to kind of keep a barrier. I'm going to put one more piece in there just because they're starting to go up and just kind of see how much cotton weight I've added. So I've added two grams just in cotton weight. I'm going to put one more piece on the other side on the smaller side just to kind of even out the weight distribution in the two sides and 
by doing that, I'm also keeping it so the silicone can't go too deep, so it's a little bit easier to get out. So now we, it's up to 353 grams. So here's the silicone that I'm going to use. Um, again, as long as it's 100% silicone, you should be okay. It doesn't, shouldn't matter. And I'm going to put it inside my caulk gun. And then I'm just basically going to do a squirt once I get it coming out on each side. And that, I added three more grams of silicone. So that's about, so I'm going to add a little bit more silicone. Basically, I'm going to do it all the way. As you can see, I added the silicone so it's all the way to the edge of the racket. And I'm going to put my, and now I'm up to 357 grams. So essentially I added about six or seven grams of silicone to the racket. And I think um, that should be good for my purposes of what I'm trying to do. And what I'm going to do is I am going to add just a little bit more. I want to get it even on both sides. There we go. And you'll see right there, we're good. So put this back on, I probably added another gram. So still 357, 358, kind of fluctuating, it, it's now, set on 358 so i've added seven grams to this racket so now that this one is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this racket sit for about three hours before i touch it because i want to give the silicone an opportunity to completely dry um, then i'm going to add some more weight to the hoop of my racket probably three to four grams uh, which is about half of what i just added in the handle um, to give it a little bit more swing weight, a little more plow through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this second racket and I'm going to pop off the butt cap here. There's a little bit of sticky tape or something I'm just going to pull out. And this racket has a little bit wider. I don't know if, how well you can see that in this camera. But I'm going to also add some cotton to this racket. We're going to add one on this side. I'm going to add one on the other side. And then I'm going to add two more pieces. I just really want to make sure the silicone doesn't go down the handle so I can get it out if I want to, but I think I'm going to be happy with this. That should be good. Now we're going to add some more silicone here. Basically I did a trigger on each side just to kind of gauge and I still have some more I can add. All right, so we're at 357 grams. So I'm just going to add a teeny bit more so I can match the rackets. Still at 357, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Try that. All right, 358 grams. Just perfect. Now both rackets match perfectly with the weight. And I'm going to grab one more. Might as well do it to all three rackets. This racket weighs, same thing, 351 grams even though it's strong. So shouldn't be an issue adding the same amount of weight. So again, we're going to take our cotton. There's one. 
There's two. Go on the other side. There's one. There's two. Add some silicone. See where we're at. 357, so pretty close. because this one's already almost full. So we're gonna push the cotton down a little bit to make room. Reweigh the racket really quick. So we lost a little bit of silicone when we did that. Bam, 358. So put my cap back on my silicone release it and show you 358 grams and that is how you add silicone to your rackets. Till next time.